a problem like this. Basically, if you guys remember, without even doing the box, this is a problem in the this is a problem in the next box. Okay, if you're going to do a problem like this in your head, um, the main important thing for factoring this is we're looking for our C and our B. We're looking for this is what I'm doing in my head. You don't always have to write this down. What two numbers multiply to give me C, but then add to give me B? So in my head, I'm thinking of all the numbers that multiply to give me 18. And this is what you have to do in your head when you're going to do this mentally. You're going 18 times 1, 9 times 2, 6 times 3. So you think about all those numbers in your head. And then you think, all right, it's giving me a negative 18, but it's, and it's adding to give me a negative. That means all the larger factors have to be negative. Which of those add up to give me a negative 7? Negative 9. Right. So since, our a, since in this case, if you remember, whatever your factors are, negative 9 and 2, we remember that those two, fact those two numbers are in your factor, right? Without even putting them in the box. So I can write my factored form as x minus 9 times x plus 2. And then I'd be done. Okay? So why don't you guys just go ahead and practice the first part of the sheet?